Alright. Hi, this is Valerie. Um, I'm going to do some package openings. And uh, two package openings. One from a surprise person and one from somebody I did a trade with. And that was her first trade. She, Her name is Gabby Gasper. She's on the Traits and D-Stash page on Facebook. And she's also here on YouTube, I think, under Gabby Gasper. G-A-B-B-Y, G-A-S-P-E-R. So, yeah, follow her, subscribe to her, go make friends with her, and maybe, you know, if you're lucky, you can end up doing a trade with her. She lives in Canada, but she has a U.S. shipping address, so it's cheaper to send it to her, and her dad goes and picks it up and whatever. And, you know, she went over and beyond what I expected out of a child. And I shouldn't say child, because she's really, you know, close to 18. Um, but she spent $50 to send out this package. And I felt bad because that's not nearly what I paid to send out her package. And so, uh, yeah, so I'll probably be sending something, you know, else special out for her. And, um, yeah, so here goes. Uh, this recording keeps getting messed up. I don't know what's the deal, so I'm going to get to it. Um, she sent me some glitter, gold, silver, blue, green, red, chunky glitter. Um, she sent me some, like, moss stuff and some leaves. They look like, I don't know, what are they guys? I'm not even gonna give my two cents because it's not even worth two cents. So, uh, I just need some flowers. They're really pretty. A few of those. A butterfly. I wonder how that would look in resin. And she sent me this. To me, it reminds me of like a Christmas stocking, if it's, you know, like hung up or something. It's like an L shape. See? God darn it. Let me see. And that's the back. She sent me some ribbons. She sent me purple, thin ribbon, a whole thing of it. She sent me some. This is green. I know it looks yellow. And she sent me this purple, thin. And this. Satin blue with a see-through blue on it. Man. And yes, I'm saving the best of stuff for the last, even though all of it's great. She sent me a whole bag of that fake ice. And I've only seen this stuff on YouTube videos, so totally cool. Yes, I can, I can hear you guys going, oh man, I'm jealous. Yep, yep, yep. And I think I already did the glitters. And she saw here's I know you guys have probably seen these, but oh they're just too cute. And my camera's just blowing today. Uh that ain't gonna happen. So anyhow. And these little guys can't have enough of those. And she said, Maybe these ones. And she sent this for my daughter. And, and she signed the bottom of it. So, really, I'm going to put it up on my daughter's wall. And she sent me some more blue ribbon, a whole bunch of it. And she sent me some glitter. And I think. If I'm correct, it's the Blaze one from Recollections. Mm. And Gabby, you can tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, I think I'm right, but quite a bit. Quite a bit. Awesome. 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 Can't have too much glitter. And she sent me these little teeny butterflies. I'm trying to hurry up before this my camera screws up or something. These little teeny holographic butterflies. Of a few different sizes and color, different colors. So those would, those are gonna really look cool on something or on something. Go I'm, boy, I'm getting ideas. One of my boxes again. Woohoo! Yeah, see, these are just so cool. I don't know. I love them. I had to show you again. Oh, okay. And. She sent me a bag of findings. So I, I, that's what I'm calling doodads, thingamajigs. Holy crap, cool. 
I have not even seen this stuff, so. And this is a rubber, rubber necklace. Black rubber necklace. Some chain. Oh my goodness. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You're going to inspire me to do more damn boxes, girl. These are cool. Cool, cool, cool. More chain. Some uh, bobby pins. And, uh, you know, little ball chain. Some popsicle sticks. Never can have too many of these. These are like band aids, you know? You always have to have some somewhere. They're good for a whole bunch of stuff. And you always run out of them when you need them. A big, bold ball chain. Um, a bookmark with little beads on it. I don't know if she made this or not. If she did, it's really cute. And then she sent me a lot of these little... I, see it. Uh, I really need to get a new camera, new computer, something. Something just ain't right. A bunch of these little dollops. Um, I think that they're from the, the DAP silicone. She can correct me if I'm wrong, but she sent me a bunch of those, a bunch of different ones. It's different styles and whatnot. And some jump rings and a little cell phone strap and some, I don't know, these, I, I paint, I paint with these. I forgot what they are. But you can make, uh, la, 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 la. what is it called? I can't remember the name of it. But you can make these things out of it. Or you can put them in clay charms and, you know, put the little loop at the top and turn it into, a, I don't know, a keychain, necklace, whatever. So she sent me some of those. She sent me a bunch of, of these. And, like, um, big sprinkles. I guess you can cut these up and put these on, you know, decadent pieces and stuff. At least that's what I'm going to do with them. They look like sprinkles, big sprinkles. And she sent me some of this. And I like using different wires for beading and whatnot. So I'll use it. I don't know what else I w I'm supposed to do with that if there is a specific thing. If there is, let me know. She got me six bottles of the uh, micro marbles with the little cork lids. So, oh, my daughter's dying to get a hold of these, but I'm so glad because I only have clear micro marbles. And what can you do with just clear micro marbles? Please, somebody tell me. And she sent me this, which this is the one I had. And yeah, it makes mine look like a midget. So thank you for that. And she sent me a big bottle of triple thick. And thank you, thank you for that. And green, lime green. I didn't have that color. And the ba the the big surprise that almost made my daughter crash. See this stack of stuff. And this is on. I don't know if it says it on here. Anyways, it's. HP Advanced, more expensive than my printer paper paper. Look what she sent me. She sent me this. And these are all glossy images, you know. I mean, I just, at first I just seen one. I thought I just got one. And... Do y'all see who this is? That's Mrs. Cat. Walk it out. You're going to have to wait just a moment. Let me finish this before. She's got perfect timing, I swear to God. Every time I kick up my camera on YouTube, I love her to death. But it's just so funny how the timing, ah, the timing is just perfect. But yeah, she sent me all these photos. Let me peel through these. This is a Alice in Wonderland one. I've never seen this one. And I've searched the internet for a bunch of different pictures. And look at that. Oops. Sorry. Let me 
see here. Yeah, I thought I just got one, and it's a stack. I think um, Lady Jarhead might like that one. Um, these are just awesome. And I know some people that love that Nightmare Before Christmas. And, and look at that. I know somebody who will like that. These are just too cute. What is that? This is, I don't know, some of these images I haven't seen yet. Some of these images I have. And I mean, and they aren't just printouts on some cheapy copy paper like I do. This is the good stuff. And, I don't know. I'm just, wow, cool. Look at this stuff. Wow. See, I was going to do my mermaid box with this one, but I end up going with the other, well, y'all seen it, with this mermaid. And this one has a lot more detail than one on my box because it's zoomed in. Mine, I had to zoom out so I can get it on the box. So that's cool. Look at that one. And see, I'm seeing ones I didn't... I mean, I've seen these on the computer, but I didn't see these in this stack the last time I went through. I wanted to do one with her. Sleeping Beauty, that is. Yeah. There's Rapunzel. There's the Harlequin, I think it is, from Batman. A little Hawaiian girl. Ah, oh. all oh, the witches. Hey, is it just me or that one, that repo show that they have on? That lady on there that always wears a black dress. I don't know what the hell her problem is. Does she not look like that queen, Ursula, that Ursula chick from uh, Little Mermaid? I've said it from the day I first saw that show, and I don't know. Totally looks like that Ursula chick. Maybe it's just me. Do do do. Look at that. I have a box of that. And. Uh, I kind of. And look at this one. I was going to do this box, but then maybe for myself I will. I don't know. It depends on somebody's humor. But right here, this cake right here says, Eat Me. And considering her dress is up, I think some people would think it's a little too over the top. I think it's funny, and I like it. But, you know, I don't want to offend anybody or they don't think I'm a perv or something like that. Okay. Now, the next box I got was a surprise, and I didn't know who it was from until I went and tried to post it on Facebook to thank whoever sent it to me. Now, I, then I realized who had sent it to me, when I, because it was wrapped in gift wrap paper, and so it was covering up the person it was from. Her name is, oh, sorry, I should not have done that. Forget that. And uh, her name is, her name is uh, Cindy Tarpine, and she is in the Trace and D stash room. And um, very sweet. I and I'm so sorry. I just did that. I mean, uh, she sent these, and they're magnets. There's goodness gracious. There's little Care Bears. She sent some socks. Or a little boy, or little kids, socks. Um, can y'all see that? Yeah. Sent. Uh, sticker book. 
and see, you know, oh crap, sorry. I would have showed my address, but I don't have anything with my address on it. Right off the bat, you know, fair is fair. But I ripped that one so it doesn't really show it. And it comes on a ball, little tiny ball chain. And look at my daughter's going to be so styling when she goes to kindergarten. And I don't even know if I can make a bow. So these are definitely my daughter's going to be wearing these. Look at that. Cute little, cute little cupcake. And another little cupcake. And, let's see here. Ooh. Snow White. On another ball chain on a um, bottle cap. And here. Look at that. She does awesome, 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 awesome. Very pretty. Thank you. And Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse. Um, hope I'm not forgetting anything out of that package. Hey, William. Hi. I made that box right there. The little box. Yeah, she sent this for no no reason at all, just to be sweet. So I'm gonna have to um, surprise someone with that with a buddy box. And you know what? Fair is fair. Yes, I will. I didn't do the same mess up this time, Mara. Or I know you would have come out and kicked my butt, and I hope Cindy doesn't kick my butt for what I did. But there's my address. You know, fair is fair, and I should have been more careful. I was trying to show the name, and I don't know, my brain wasn't functioning. Uh, but if you want, I'll take the video down. Just let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll take the video down. You know, I don't want to... I just can't edit these because I'm doing them straight to Facebook. So, yeah. And I'm working on a box for someone who requested uh, a Bioshock box. That's what I'm calling it. And uh, I've never even played the game, so I had to do a little research, a lot of research. And so far, this is it. It's got, let me see here if I can... I ended up putting glow-in-the-dark powder in with the liquid in here and it did look awesome when I first put it in but now it's like an orangey color so I think the the powder is settled because in the back if you can see it's more red so kind of settled and that's the only place I noticed that the powder settled because MJ warned me about that but you know and but in when it glows, it glows red. Uh, this one glows. Ah, this one glows blue. This one glows red. And that was the effect I was going for because I, in the game the stuff lights up like that. So yeah. And then I put a little bit of red in there to appear to be like blood. And then right here, you can't. You may not be able to see it, but there's some of that liquid coming out of the needle, and it looks. It gives it a real. Let me see. Oh, sorry. I guess you just have to see it in person or maybe better camera. And then I noticed that they had like electricity when they, they can shoot electricity out or whatever. And um, I was going for that look and I totally got it. Nailed it. Um, this side is more of a red color. I wanted it to do blue but it didn't glow as bright as I wanted it to glow. And so I mixed the rest of the glow in the dark powders I had and put them in here. So basically this took up, this box took up every single drop of glow-in-the-dark powder that MJ sent me and she sent me a ton. And I used it on this. And so this side glows, this side, oh, this side glows, this side glows, and the shots glow. And they are real shots, you know, needles and all, filled with the, you know, the goodies that keep you going in the game. And this you know, it's got the crackle paint, and this stuff all glows in between. Glows, and I'm put. I'll put up pictures on my Facebook, or I, already, I have put up some, and you'll see what I mean. It looks awesome, and these glow awesome. So, yeah, I wanted it to be clear so that you could see the shots and all the details. If I would have put anything else in there, I don't think you could. It, 
it would have just took away from it. Plus, I wanted it to be somewhat like water, so it's kind of blue, but it has a little bit of that red in there for the blood. I'm so not done with this, but I was working on getting this effect done. That was my biggest accomplishment, and uh, now I'm going to go get the pictures and you know, and finish decorating the box and whatever and do the lid. I haven't done the lid yet because I was just focused on trying to get this idea out of my out, out of the way. And okay, put those down, honey. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Say have a nice day. Have a nice day.